The 121st season of Ohio University football will start in the state where the Bobcats captured their first ever bowl victory. That's right, we're headed back to Idaho. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats, and welcome to this Game Week preview, the first of the season presented by Donwood Toyota. See them on the web at donwoodtoyota.com. We all remember it well, 2011. Ohio knocked off Utah State in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Tyler Tettleton dove for the pylon. The extra point was good, and the Bobcats held off a final Aggie charge at the end on the final drive of the game, and Ohio captured their first of two bowl victories. So it's a special return to the state of Idaho to start off the season against the University of Idaho's Vandals. Ohio knocked them off in Athens last year, 36 to 24. And much like the Potato Bowl is special to Ohio, that bowl game is special to the Vandals too. It was called the Humanitarian Bowl back in 2009, and it was a thriller. Highlights, big time fun, and a big time win for Idaho over Bowling Green. But since then, unfortunately, not a lot of wins for the Golden Black. In the five seasons since the Humanitarian Bowl win of 2009, Idaho has gone 11 and 50. The last three have been 1 and 11 campaigns. Two of those victories were over New Mexico State. After the Western Athletic Conference dropped football, the Vandals were independent for a year, and now this is their second season in the Sun Belt. Paul Petrino, the brother of Louisville head coach Bobby Petrino, is in his third season in Moscow. It is a tough job, partly because of location, partly because of conference instability. They've moved four times since jumping to the Big West and the FBS in 1996. They do have tradition to build from. In the 80s and early 90s, they went to the 1AA playoffs 11 times. Defense has been an issue. Last year, the Vandals ranked 112th of 125 in total defense and points given up, allowing 462 yards per game and 37 points per contest. They were 53rd in total offense, but the 25 points per game just didn't add up to wins. Matt Linehan is back at quarterback in his redshirt freshman season. He threw for 2,500 yards and 11 touchdowns, but also 18 interceptions, three to Ohio's Quinton Poling. Wide receiver Desmond Epps is back after being off the team last year. He was a top receiver in 2013. They're switching to a 3-4 defensive scheme, and they brought in new personnel, an attempt to give the offense a chance to win some games. Punter Austin Reckow is their only Sun Belt preseason first teamer. The Vandals are picked last of 11 in the league's preseason poll. A note on their nickname. They are called the Vandals, but their media guide says it's not because of the dictionary definition of the term. It's actually from their basketball team early in the 1900s. Heck Edmondson was their head coach. He later went on to the University of Washington, and he coached his players up to play such great defense that newspaper writers said they vandalized the opposition. That nickname stuck, and they're the University of Idaho Vandals. They are in the Sun Belt, even though they are in a state that borders Canada. Ohio has had success against Sun Belt opposition before. You remember the New Orleans Bowl, Ohio lost to Troy, but Ohio has beaten the Raging Cajuns of Louisiana Lafayette before down at the Swamp and in Athens. They've knocked off Louisiana Monroe. You remember that from the bowl game, the Independence Bowl. Ohio has beaten New Mexico State twice, and of course, Idaho last year. There is a note on elevation, 2,500 feet, and yes, breathing will be a little bit difficult also because of wildfires. They have wildfire smoke. It's been really a terrible summer for that, really devastating to a lot of areas in the Northwest. That's blowing into the Moscow area now, and air quality not all that great, so it will be interesting playing in that Kibbe Dome coming up on Thursday night. Of course, the game is on ESPN3, but we're ready for you on the largest station radio network in the Mid-American Conference, the Ohio IMG Sports Network. Rob Cornelius and I will bring you to Moscow through our play-by-play -play and color commentary. We start off at 8 o'clock with our hour-long pregame show with the kickoff at 9. There you go. We've got you set. Our game week preview, the first one of the year, Ohio and Idaho, presented by Don Wood Toyota of Athens. Thanks to Tanner Smith for his outstanding work and the entire Bobcat TV crew. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and yes, this is Bobcat TV.